What's up YouTube? I'm Matador Philip, and today I'm going to start a little series about using Adobe Illustrator to prepare props for cosplay. Uh, I really love Adobe Illustrator. It's one of my favorite tools to use, and if you've never used it before, you can actually get it through Adobe Creative Cloud for I think about $20 a month. Let's check real quick. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can get a single app for $20 a month, so that can be Illustrator if you want it to. But you can also get the full Adobe Creative Suite for $50, which is what which is what I did because it has Photoshop and Illustrator and um, After Effects and Premiere, which is what I use to edit all my videos. So that's a really great tool to use, and I'm, I'm not sponsored by Adobe or anything. I just really like their products. Uh, Illustrator in particular is really great for making templates and things like that. So let's go ahead and open up a new file right here. I'm going to use the standard letter size, and I'm going to have it set so that it's in the uh, landscape orientation, with, so it's lying on its side. And let's go ahead and start that off here. I'm doing something that people have done before. I'm doing a Daedric Dagger from Skyrim. And this is the image that I found that, that works best for me. Because it's nice and on the side it has all the details that I need. And I can just kind of trace around the outlines and trace around the edges of the little details that I want to include in there. But depending on the, the weapon there, the replica that you're trying to create, it can be kind of difficult to find the images that you want. So I'm gonna make another video later on going over how to kind of how to kind of bullshit your way around getting the images that you want if you can't find exactly what you want. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and take the image that I just got and drag it down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rotate that 90 degrees so that it has the orientation that I want. I've seen people do similar things in um, I think I've even seen it in PowerPoint in Microsoft PowerPoint. And that, that will work in a pinch, but Illustrator is just a much more powerful tool. And especially since you can actually get it on a subscription for $20 a month, I think it's pretty ideal for doing stuff like this. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the Object menu, and I'm going to lock my selection so that I can't accidentally click on this and move it around. Now, it is, it's stuck where it's at, it's not going to go anywhere unless I tell it to. So, we're going to go up here and select our Pen Tool which you can click in multiple points and select exactly where you want it to go. So it's kind of it's kind of the best for this situation. And I don't want it to have any fill in it because you'll notice, let me demonstrate by drawing something over here, you can see it has a white fill between the areas where I'm drawing and I don't want that because that's going to obscure or delete the whole thing. I don't want that because that's going to obscure a lot of the other areas as I'm drawing this and I don't want that to get in the way. So I'm going to click this down here to just kind of nix the fill all together. And I'm going to change the stroke color to something a little more bright and noticeable against this. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with a blue because that means that you can notice it really easily sticking out and standing out against the sword, or the knife rather, so I can see where my lines are. So let's go ahead and zoom in, and this is this part is actually the easiest thing in the world, especially because this, um, as you can see, this is kind of angular in the first place, since it's just, it's just, uh, this is an actually an actual model of the weapon that was pulled directly from the game. So it's very angular, I don't have to worry about any curved lines or anything like that, so this is actually very simple. We're just going to outline the edges of our prop right here, and this can get a little bit time-consuming, especially if it's a slightly more complex shape like this one, but it really is worth it in the end. It takes a little while, but you really want to make sure that you get everything absolutely perfect, so that way you don't have to worry about it causing you any headaches later on down the road when you realize that it's not quite where you wanted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up real quick. Okay, I've got the outline of my prop finished right now. You can see if I make a copy of it and drag it down here, now I have a blue outline of the prop that I'm going to be making eventually. But I really want more detail on the inside, so we're going to do another pass on some of the inner details. And this is where things get a little bit complicated because I'm going to want to cut out different size pieces of these because you can see this area right here is actually raised up a little bit from this one. So I'm going to want to cut out a different piece of foam 
to lay down on top of this that I want to have only this shape excluding this, but we'll get to all that in a second. Right now I'm going to create an additional line in here to outline the shape of this guy, and I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, now I've got most of the details in here that I want present for the actual printout. Now, there are a lot of other lines and details in there, but I'm actually going to wait and draw those on once I have the foam cut out, so that way I don't have to worry about transferring them from the paper, because the thing about all of these smaller details in here is there's not really a good way to transfer them from the paper, because I'll be having that on top of the foam, and I could cut it in through the top of the paper, but I really want to save the pattern that I'm going to print out, so I don't have to make a new one every time I decide I want to make one of these. So I'm going to actually draw those on by hand, all these finer details later on, and then cut them into foam myself. So right now this is about where I want it to be, and it's almost ready for the next stage, which is printing it out. And I'm going to cover that in the next video, so please give this video a like if you enjoyed this, if you found it helpful in any way. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. I have a few that I've done in the past of cosplay tutorials, and I'm going to be doing a lot more on this project right here in the future. So thank you again for watching this video, and until next time, adios.